Hello from City Field in New York. I'm Zach Hampel, and this is my 14th different Major League Baseball stadium this season. Now, normally I try to avoid weekend games because they're more crowded, and I especially try to avoid weekend games that start in the early afternoons because there's no batting practice. And yet, here I am on a Sunday with this game starting at 1.40 p.m. because I have stumbled into a ticket on the left field party deck. Those seats are so hard to get, and they're in a great spot to catch home runs, so that's the goal. I am bringing you this video selfie style. Got the GoPro, I'll probably throw it on in a bit. And for right now, I wanna go check out, if you can see it, right over there, the Tom Seaver statue. It's my first time seeing it in person. And uh, anything else of interest before this place opens up soon. Let's get to it. There it is! Hey. We don't have it like in a uh, nope. plexiglass frame on the wall, the band den. No. We wear them. Even if they autograph, it don't mean nothing to me. Hojo. You know? So both the Mets and the Marlins have some players out on the field throwing right now and I decided to head down to the left field foul line because it's usually easier to get baseballs from the visiting team. So got the Marlins cap on and have to pay attention because actually the protective netting ends right there. So this area right here is exposed and I'm going to watch, hold on. That dude right there is Pablo Lopez, very talented. So. Maybe when he's done, he'll hook it up. And just for the record, you can see on the infield, no batting cage, no screens, a whole lot of nothing. Wow, okay. That just flew into the seats. I'll take it. Put him on the board. I guess I was kind of zoomed in with my camera right there. It's a better look at it. Richard, what's up? Yo. The man, Richard Blyer. Whoa, so they'll stop checking his tickets. Can I take a Could you sign one? You can sign the ball, man. Might as well. Thank you for the ball. I appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. Yeah. Where? Pablo, can I just feel the weighted ball for one second? I'm just curious. It's 14 ounces. The regular one is five, so yeah. Okay, I thought it. Three times away. What do you use that for? I expected it to be heavier. The towel grip. Pablo's trying to get signed and prove your collection, right? Yeah, it's a plan, bro. It's a plan. Thanks. We have a Max Scherzer sighting. <laughs> There's a baseball. Thanks, Richard. There it is. Do you want this one? There you go. From Richard Blyer. Zach, nice to meet you. What's up? Fellow Zach. Oh, fellow Z, all right. right. Tommy, could I get you to sign one quickly? And hey, thanks for the ball you chucked me in Philly uh, earlier in the week. Thanks. Yo. Careful what you say, my GoPro is running. Oh. Everything's great. 
Everything's just wonderful. How's it going? In all seriousness though, I saw you pitch on TV last night and that was so beautiful. <laughs> Falling behind 3-0, I know that wasn't beautiful for you, but then Not came, how you back, up. came back and struck out McNeil. So, and then the first pitch of the next inning, dude hits a sharp grounder. I'm thinking, oh no, through the hole. Yeah, right there. Defensive positioning. Tides are changing. And then the next one, I remember, up the middle, you got a glove on it. Yeah. And again, I thought, oh man, up the... But they're, they're right Soft there. Contact, no. Soft contact. Ten pitches, five strikes. Yeah, I need to work on the strikes. Well, yeah. All right. we'll so you're so you're available for today's game? Yes. Sandy's pitching. He usually throws at least nine, so. <laughs> at least. Now, can I get you to sign you a, a yeah. ticket? Is this your um, party deck ticket? Uh, no. The party deck ticket is an oh, e-ticket. This, is, the this is from Philly the other day. There you go. Cool. Beautiful. Hey, thanks. No problem. The man, Richard Blyer. Everybody, <laughs> throw him a follow on Insta. You can see it up there on the screen. <laughs> you know it. Thank you for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Did you get any balls today? I got a couple. That's good. Thank you. You're welcome. What's up, Zach? How are we doing? Pretty good. How are you? Lots of autographs being signed today in Queens. A bunch by me and also a lot by the Marlins. Got to give them credit for being so generous. You can see five signatures right here on tickets that I got in Philly earlier this week. Jimmy Yacobonis, Pablo Lopez, Tommy Nance, Daniel Castano, and Richard Blyer, who personalized it to Zach. So that's pretty cool. As you guys know, every time I get autographs, I always mention that I have a huge collection of signed tickets going way back to the early 90s. I did a four-part video series on those, and I will link to those videos in the description for this one. So right now, there's still more than an hour until game time, and you can see there ain't nothing happening out on the field. And get this, I believe that my ticket out on the party deck in that area comes with some free food. I was told $30, got this ticket from a friend. So I think I take my ticket to a concession stand, scan it, and then I just get stuff. So let's see if this works. You know what, guys? I am going for it right here because I've never had a steak sandwich here at City Field, so why not today? So, did you catch A-Rods or Jeter's? A-Rods. And today is the seven-year anniversary of it. June 19th, 2015. Some food included with my ticket. Thank you. Is that right? No, that has zero. It has zero? Yeah. I feel like I've been duped. I was told there was free food and instead I had to pay $20 for this sandwich. Now it does look really good, but if I knew that I had to pay for it, I definitely would not have gotten it. So that's annoying. My ticket today cost $195, can you believe that? Man, I better catch a home run or I'm gonna be pissed. What's up? So, uh, I guess I'll grab some napkins and find a place and eat this thing. Damn. All right, I have taken off the GoPro for right now, and you can see I'm just out here in the normal left field seats. For the game, I'll be going all the way down that staircase Hello. onto the party deck. And for right now, well, it's shady here, but uh, let's see what this thing is all about. Ready? I'm okay, guys. I'm not choking on it. The sandwich is still intact, and you know, it's fine, it's good. It's not great or life-changing. I'm not a huge steak guy, but I've definitely had better steak than this on many occasions. Oh, 
So now that I'm down here and I officially have my wristband, let me show you what this looks like. You can see this nice juicy walkway in the back. This walkway is juicier than that steak sandwich. And there are two rows of seating. There are the nice cushy seats down in front and then these uncomfortable high chairs right here. So I assume that this is gonna be sold out, but you know, right now I have a lot of space, so let's hope that the baseballs are flying today. That is not the first inning that I wanted to see. Six up and six down combined for these two teams. At least the Mets outfielders are being generous with toss-ups, but yeah, so far, thumbs down. But I mean, it's just so fun to be out here. Look at all this. It's filled up quite a bit in left center. So I'm more straight away right now. And also Miguel Rojas is up. He does not have tremendous power. So I feel like playing him for a shorter home run more straight away is the move here. So I'll be uh, all over the place today. Hey, what's up? Hello. How are you? What's up? Say hi to YouTube. What's up? <laughs> yeah, 28 to 30. Oh, sorry, the A section. Are you there? The A, the A were 30 to 30. The B over here. The B, the B were 28 to 30. Come on, Jazz, do something. Oh! With that Shay, the final game of the 69 World Series. Whoa! Yeah, as a kid. That's so cool. When you all ran out of the field. Before you got thrown in jail for doing that. Yeah, yeah, well, they let you then. Right. They have guys that pick up the napkins. All right. <laughs> Huge thanks to Richard Blyer for hooking me up again as he was walking from the dugout to the bullpen in the third inning. And then I was able to find a kid and give him that ball. And by the way, it was that kid's birthday. So his father was happy, the kid was happy. I'm happy because that was my third baseball of the day. Nice to pad the stats a little bit. But unfortunately, as you can see, there is still a lot of room out on this party deck. I'll even- My guy, how are hey. you doing? Let's catch a home run. Well, I was just gonna tell everybody that it's tough to do that when Sandy Alcantara is throwing a gem. And of course, you know, the Mets haven't allowed any runs Seven either. Seven strikeouts already. Just saw Sandy in Philadelphia. He didn't give up anything then, really. So, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wander down this way and just show you guys that there is still, as uh, Lindor's up at bat, there's still all this space. So, yeah, scoreless right now in the bottom of the fourth. Time is running out. Oh my god, Sandy, stop doing this. It's time for a nice tailgate trivia brought to you by our local Florida Stores Father's Day edition. I'm here in the Alpha Florida Ranger with Mark. My neck of the woods is Sandy Harris. Sandy Harris, 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 Sandy and Chris Bassett is going for his 10th strikeout of the game. Just listen to this crowd if he gets it. Ground ball, Lindor's got it. Out at first. Starling Marte with the two out triple and then Francisco Lindor knocked him in and that's the difference. So, top of the seventh right now. one nothing Mets. What are you, what are you filming? Uh, for a YouTube video. Nice. Thanks. 
Do you want to join us? We're gonna see some chugging. Okay, we'll All right. Quicker. We're ready for it. I, I got I got my money on you, backwards cap guy. All right. Chug. Ready? Chug. Three. Just a clink in a hand. Yeah. Ready? No spillage. Be good. There it is. There it is. Oh, my man. Oh, how are we feeling? Good. Happy Father's Day. Three and one. Base is loaded for the Marlins. Gerard Encarnacion in his major league debut just blasted a grand slam. First major league home run. I'm not sure if you can tell right now, but it is very quiet out here. Mets fans are stunned. I'm also kind of stunned because I knew that guy had a zero in the home run category, and I was hoping that if he did get a hold of one, he'd pull it out this way, but our man went oppo, so good for him. And... Right now in the top of the seventh, the Marlins are up four to one. What the hell just happened? Well, guess what? I ended up finding some action after all on the party deck in the form of a t-shirt that was tossed up into the crowd. So that was kind of fun, a little something something. And the Mets had something going of their own in the bottom of the seventh. They played it another run, but after that, well, the last couple innings were awfully slow and I'll admit that I got restless on the party deck. I was moving all over the place from left center field over to straightaway left and then back again, trying to find the emptiest spot and also trying to pick out the spots where I thought home runs were most likely to land. But unfortunately, there were no other home runs. There was a close call for me when Brian De La Cruz tossed his warm-up ball into the crowd, but I just didn't get the deflection on that one. And in the bottom of the ninth, well, the Mets made things interesting by getting a couple guys on base, but with two outs, Mark Canna grounded out to shortstop to close this thing out. And so the Marlins, the underdogs, they won this game. It's the third time that I've seen Miami play this week. I saw them twice at Citizens Bank Park in Philly. They lost both of those games, so this is the first time this season that I've seen them win. Final score, Marlins six, Mets two. And as for me, well, look where I am. That big 42 in the background is for Jackie Robinson because I'm here in the Jackie Robinson Rotunda, which is basically the home plate gate. So this is what it looks like if you enter the main gate at City Field. Just wanted to share that with you. And so, as for me in the numbers, I got three baseballs today, two from Richard Blyer. He is so cool. And including the balls that I gave away, that brings my lifetime total to 11,805. I also got five autographs, which was awesome. And here's something that I should have mentioned earlier, but I mean, I'm still here, it's not too late. The party deck in left field, it's only sold to like groups of 25 or more, something crazy. It's so hard to get down there. They used to serve food, all you can eat. But then with COVID, they got rid of that. And I guess they've continued to use COVID as an excuse to not bring it back. So it used to be a lot more fun on the party deck, but I still do enjoy it. And anybody watching this, if you have an extra party deck ticket, hit me up. If I'm in New York, if I'm free, it would be cool to join you. So that's it for me at City Field. And I gotta get home, do some laundry, and pack because tomorrow I'm getting on an airplane and flying to Texas. I'll be at two games at Globe Life Field, seeing the Rangers, they have commemorative balls. So, hoping to snag one. That's it, thank you guys so much for watching.